Can you solve this math challenge? Here's the question. Solve for the value of x given that x raised to square root of x equals square root of x raised to the power of x, wherein x is definitely greater than 0. You can pause this video if you want to give this problem a try. Now, let's answer this question together. So, our goal is to solve for the value of x, which is greater than 0. So, we don't care if x is 0 or below 0. First thing we need to do is to take the logarithm on both sides. The reason is if we do that, we can now use the property of logarithm that if we have logarithm of b raised to n, that is equivalent to n multiplied by logarithm of b. Therefore, the left-hand side of our equation can be written as square root of x multiplied by logarithm of x. Now, on the right side, this can be written as x multiplied by logarithm of square root of x. Now, take note that square root of x can be written as x raised to one half. So we can apply again this identity. Therefore, this can be written as one half times x times logarithm of x. Now let's simplify. One half times x is just x over two. Now at this point, I have a tip for you. Please don't divide both sides by logarithm of x. This is just a trap for you. If you do that, you lose one possible value for x. So instead of dividing both sides by logarithm of x, what we're going to do here is to equate this to 0, like this. So we have square root of x times logarithm of x minus x over 2 times logarithm of x. Now take note that we have a common term of logarithm of x, so we can factor out logarithm of x. This will give us square root of x minus x over 2 multiplied by logarithm of x equals 0. Now since it is equal to 0, it follows that at least one of them must be equal to 0. Therefore, we can say that square root of x minus x over 2 equals to 0, or logarithm of x must be equal to 0. Now, let's solve for the value of x given this first equation, square root of x minus x over 2 equals to 0. So, just add x over 2 on both sides. Now, what we're going to do is to square on both sides to cancel out the square root. So the left-hand side is just x, and the right-hand side is just x squared over 4. Now multiply both sides by 4, and then again let's equate this to 0. We have 0 equals x squared minus 4x, and then we have a common factor of x, so just factor out x. This will give us x multiplied by x minus 4. Now again, since it is equal to 0, Therefore, at least one of them must be equal to 0. So we can say that x equals to 0 or x equals 4. Now, we said earlier that x is greater than 0. Therefore, we will not consider the value of x must be 0. So on the first equation, we get the value of x must be 4. Now, on the second equation, we have logarithm of x equals 0. Now, take note of this identity that logarithm of 1 must be equal to 0. Therefore, definitely, x must be 1. Therefore, our answer to this question, what is the value of x given that x raised to square root of x equals square root of x raised to x, wherein x is definitely greater than 0, then our answer is x equals 1 or x equals 4. And as always, we are done.